y'all. I hope that you're having an awesome day. And today we are doing our Allure Beauty Box for the month of July. Um, so pretty cool box actually. I'm not hating it. We have a lot of products and I'm actually going to have to split this up a little bit because some of the products I'm going to use now and some of them I'm going to have to use later after I take off my makeup. So it will be kind of like two parts to this. It will all be in one video though. So let's just jump in. <laughs> so I'm going to run down everything that we got today and then we'll start applying stuff to my face. So um, we will start... I guess we'll go ahead and start with everything that I'm going to apply later after I shower and get my makeup off. We got the LA Regenerist Whip, uh, Whip Light as Air Finish. It is a moisturizer. Advanced Anti-Aging Results Light as Air Finish. Mm, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, it's a moisturizer. Also, i um, really excited to try this one, and it's a pretty good size sample. Um, this is the Way Leave-In Conditioner, and I'm going to smell it. I haven't smelled it. Oh, that smells good. Mm, it smells kind of florally. I really like that. So, excited to try this later. We also got this, which I'm really stoked about. It is from Sunday Riley, and this is Luna, the Retinol Sleeping Night Oil. And I did open this up all ago. I thought about using it underneath my makeup today. Um, but after I kind of saw it, I'm glad that I didn't. But this is what the cute little guy looks like. So yeah, that's my, here it is. So it's actually blue. So I didn't want that to, you know, alter my makeup in any way because I don't know if you can see that, but it does leave like a really really slight kind of blue cast and it does absorb but i didn't want that to you know mess with my face makeup or anything so this is the next generation retinoid oil reduces the appearance of pores and wrinkles while fighting the signs of premature aging and surface redness okay and then so our last product that we're going to be trying later is this from feel harmony it is a rose petal facial mask, ultra concentrated toning gel. So let's see, it's rich in rose petals, rose essential oils, and rose flower extract. So I'm sure that it smells amazing. I hope so. Let's see. Oh, what's up? Here, I'll apply it on. Ooh, it's a gel. Oh my god, it smells like roses. Ooh, that is super cool. So it's uh, transparent, it's a really gel-like formula, but it's not like, it's not like a sticky gel. It's like a watery gel, if that makes sense. Uh, it smells like garden roses. <sighs> it smells so good. And it feels really, really cooling on my skin, so I'm really excited to try this. So now we're going to move on to all the things that we're going to be applying to my face right now. So we're going to apply this from Derma E. It is the Derma E Essentials Sun Protection Mineral Powder SPF 30. I don't know why that was so hard for me to get out. Um, I don't know if this is translucent or not. Uh, apply with a brush liberally over face, neck, and decolletage or decollete. Um, and a circular motion before sun exposure. So it's basically a powder sunscreen. So what I did do, because I do have my foundation and my brows on right now, and I do have my concealer, I went ahead and powdered my under eye concealer with what I normally use, which is this uh, Mineral Wear uh, Talc-Free Mineral Correcting Powder from Physicians Formula, and this is in the shade Creamy Natural. Um, I did go ahead and put this underneath my eyes because I don't know if this is translucent or if it's going to darken my under eyes, and I don't want to darken my under eyes. So, we'll just use this on the rest of my face to powder. So, it protects skin from harmful UVA and UVB sun rays. It's infused with antioxidant, green tea, chamomile, and vitamin E. It helps to absorb excess oil while keeping your skin looking fresh, and it's easy to carry and reapply throughout the day. 
for an all day sun protection. And I also have three more things. So they kind of, they went, they went in with this box. You know, I really like it. They gave us like a lot of stuff. Um, and at least it's not another freaking hairspray. <laughs> so, um, the next thing that we got is this right here. It is a lip balm from the Organic Pharmacy. It's an antioxidant lip balm. And it has shea butter and rose hip to keep your lips soft. So I'm going to apply that right now. It smells really good. It kind of smells a little citrusy. Okay, so then we just have two things left. Um, we got this. I don't know how to say the brand. It's Douche. Douche. Do say I don't know. It's this. It is a ultra precision eyeliner, and it is in the shade blue. And I have not swatched it yet. Ooh, that is so pretty. Okay, so apply it over here. Oh yes, and that is so creamy. Oh, that's beautiful. So I'm so excited to try this today. And the last thing, but certainly not least, is this from Makeup Forever. It is the Makeup Forever Artist Pencil, and this is in the shade Full Red. And there is that shade right there, and it is a true red. I would say it has, like, a little bit of, like, a cooler blue undertone, but it is a true red. So. Now that we have that... Oh, and I did read in the little pamphlet that you would either get this color or you would get whatever walnut. So I'm really excited that we got this. And this says that it is multi-purpose, so you can use it as eyeliner, you can use it on your cheeks, you can use it as your lip liner. Um, it says that you can use it in your brows as well, so I'm not going to do any of that. <laughs> so the first things first, I'm going to clip my hair back. Here. And put that one behind my ear because I don't know where my other clip is. It has disappeared. So, first I'm going to apply this from Derma E. So, I guess I will just kind of... <gasps> oh, no. Look at it. The freaking cap came off. Uh, no. No. There's powder everywhere. It's all over my hands, all over my desk. Okay, be very careful because this stupid little sipper thing came out. Oh my god. Ah! Come on. Okay. We're off to a great start with this product. Okay. So, now that I have myself mostly cleaned up. Oh my god, stop it. Stop it. Now that we have this cleaned up, um, I'm just going to do a little swatch. And so it does have a little color to it. So glad that I didn't put this under my eyes. I'm going to kind of bronze with it, I think. I don't know. Um, I'm going to take this flat top powder brush from e.l.f. And I'm just going to press it into the cap here. Wow, that's a lot of powder. Not gonna go in with that much. This is this is messy. Okay. Oh, that just got powder everywhere. Oh my god, I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. <laughs> yeah, I'm not using this as an all-over face powder. Um, I'm not going out in the sun today, so that's fine with me. But I'm just going to use this to warm up my skin a little bit because this, I mean, the shade's just too dark. It's too dark to be a face powder for me. I don't know. I don't hate it. Uh, I mean, I kind of do. I said that I hate it a lot um, because the stupid sifter just popped right out and that's not fun so I don't know y'all it's okay I mean it's I'm, I'm I don't know 
I guess like it's a cool concept like because I, I don't know their shade range I haven't looked it up before um I mean if it has a good shade range and you know it you have a shade that matches your skin tone and maybe you just need you're just going to be doing work outside or something or maybe not work because I don't think this would last very well through sweat. I don't know how it would do against sweating and things like that. Um, but I mean, if you're just going to be kind of chilling outside, hanging out, I mean, maybe it would be cool, I guess. So I don't know. Um, right now I'm going to go apply the rest of my face makeup. Um, and we will be right back. So, see you soon. Okay, so I am back. I have my eyes on, and I know that it looks a little bit crazy because they're two totally, completely different eye looks. Um, and my red lip doesn't really go with this eye over here. <laughs> so, I did use my blue eyeliner and the red one from Makeup Forever. If you want to see how these performed and how they did and what I did with them, um, you will have to watch my next video. I'm doing swatches, a review, and demo of the Laura Lee Los Angeles palette. We have the Boss Babe palette and the Party Animal palette. They're, they're fun. So you'll definitely have to watch that video. I do have some dupes in there, um, swatches, how I applied them, everything like that. And then you would also see me using these as well. So with that being said, all that's left for me to do is to go throughout my day. Whenever I take a shower tonight, I will use all of these other products that we have remaining in our July beauty box. So the next time that you'll see me, I will be fresh out of the shower and ready to apply all this stuff. So see you then. All right, so I am back fresh out of the shower. My hair, I would say is maybe about 40% dry or so. So we are going to put in the Way Leave-In Conditioner. So now that we have that on, I'm going to go ahead and apply my Feel Harmony Rose Petal Facial Mask. Apply it to your dry face, leave it on for 20 minutes, rinse off and dry. Yeah, if you don't like rose scented things or floral scented things, you're not going to like this. Oh my god, I love it. I want to wear this every day. Like I want to find this in a perfume. So there's really nothing to see on here. It goes on completely. It's a gel, but it's kind of on the more watery side. So it spreads real easily and it does not feel sticky at all. So I am going to wait 10 minutes and I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back and it has been about 15 minutes and the mask, it did kind of dry down to like a sticky type texture. Um, I can't feel it on my face whenever I'm just sitting like, you know, in a neutral position like this. It didn't get tight or anything like that, but if I touch my face, it is sticky. So I have a rag right here with warm water on it, and I'm just going to do this. Alright, so my face is all clean now, um, and I did also want to mention that I have used this antioxidant lip balm from the Organic Pharmacy a few more times, and honestly, I don't really like it that much. It doesn't feel like it hydrates my lips enough. It just feels like it kind of sits on there and I don't know, it just feels weird. I so, so, so much rather prefer my Nivea Moisture Lip Care. This, like, I finished one. Who do you know that finishes an actual lip balm and doesn't lose it before they finish it? I finished one and I was like scraping into it to keep getting more out. Um, but I have a new one and I'm very happy. So now that my face is all dry and clean, I'm going to go ahead and apply the Luna Sleeping Night Oil. And this is from Sunday Riley again. And I love that they gave, like, they gave us a pretty generous sample. Like, it would have been totally bomb if they would have given us, like, a full size like they did a few months ago. But I'm not mad about it. Okay. And I do want to mention, because the uh, toner that I use, it is a Pixi Glow Tonic, and it does have glycolic acid in it. 
and you don't usually want to mix like AHAs and BHAs together with a retinol because it could, uh, you know, make your skin really irritated and inflamed and things like that. Um, you can do them like, you know, your AHA or BHA in the morning and the retinol at night if you wanted to. Or you could even separate them out by like, you know, 30 minutes or so after applying each other. I don't know if it's going to pick up on camera, but I can definitely see a blue tint to my skin. And yeah, this smell, it's... I don't know. This is going to sound weird. It smells like nutty cardboard. And I would say the feeling of it on my skin, it doesn't feel... I don't know. I can feel it on my skin, if that makes sense. I don't know. It's it's kind of weird. It's kind of an odd feeling, but I mean, I'm still going to use it. <laughs> like, it's not irritating my skin or, uh, you know, I'm not getting any redness or anything. Um, just weird kind of blue cast to my face. And it does feel, I don't know. Kind of, it feels like I have an oil on my skin, but not like a nice hydrating oil. Like it feels like an oil on my skin. So that'll be something to get used to. But once I do finish this up, I will update y'all on if I, you know, how I like it and everything like that. So there is quite a bit in here. So hopefully I can get at least like a month out of it. Maybe I can use a little bit less product. <laughs> And since I am here, I'm going to go ahead and use my eye cream as well. Um, I use the Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair Eye Cream. I haven't been using this very long, so I don't have anything, you know, to kind of say about it. And this does have an accelerated retinol in it as well. So I am going to let this kind of sink into my skin for a little bit. And then I am going to apply my moisturizer and we will be done for the night. Okay, so I am back, and um, the retinol, it is pretty much absorbed into my skin all the way. Um, it feels slightly, you know, like I have a little bit of something on there, um, but it is mostly absorbed into my skin. I'm going to keep using it because I am interested to see if it does do anything with my skin. So the last thing that we have is the Ole Regenerist Whip um, Moisturizer. Now, since I am going to be using this, you know, for the foreseeable future until it runs out, and since I did also use this mask today, I'm not going to be testing this out yet because I don't want to have too many different variables on my skin. So I am going to go in with my usual Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel Moisturizer. Um... Just because I want to have something, you know, to where I, like a controlled group, pretty much. So, I'm going to put this up on the shelf, and whenever I run out of my Neutrogena, I will give this a try just to see how it is. Um, just for right now, opening it up, it is super thick and creamy. You kind of put a little on my hand. Oh, it smells really good. It smells really, like, nice and fresh, so, and it absorbed into my skin, like, immediately. Just to keep some sort of consistency, I am going to use my moisturizer tonight. I just get a little dab. Press it into my skin. Alright, so that is it. We are wrapped up for the July Allure Beauty Box. And I have to say, I really did like it. Um, I'm glad that we didn't get another hairspray. And I like the variety that we got. You know, we got some really cool stuff. Um, I have to say there were some definite winners in here. Um, these two pencils, um, the blue eyeliner and the red, what is it, uh, Artist Color Pencil from Makeup Forever. Loved those. They're really awesome. You'll have to watch my other video um, that I did with the Laura Lee Los Angeles Boss Babe and Party Animal palettes to see how I use those and how those worked out for me. Um, the Way Leave-In Conditioner. My hair feels pretty soft right now, so I'll keep using this and update you on that. Um, the Feel Harmony Rose 
petal face mask. I liked it for what it was. Um, I wouldn't say that my skin felt super hydrated or anything like that, but I love the smell and I just like the experience of face masks. Whether or not they do anything or not, it's just kind of like the experience thing for me that I really love. Um, the Luna Sleeping Night Oil, I'll have to see and keep using that and update y'all and, you know, kind of let you know how I like it. And if I don't like it, if I keep using it or stop, I'll definitely let y'all know. But as of right now, I'm going to keep this in my skincare routine until I run out and we'll see what happens with that. And like I said, I will be using this once I do run out of my normal moisturizer. Oh, and the only thing that was kind of like a dud for me was this um, antioxidant lip balm from the Organic Pharmacy. I can live without it. My Nivea is way better. So, I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure you hit the notification bell so you are notified every time that I post a video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.